Hello everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Lately, I've been diving into Kotlin Multi-Platform and Compose Multi-Platform. If you remember, recently I shared a video where we used Firebase Authentication in an Android application. Well, this time I took the same project and turned it into a multi-platform application, which means it now runs on both Android and iOS from a single code base. Pretty cool, right? So let's see the project and I will give the link in the description of this video so that you can download the project and check it yourself. So this is the project and I built this for Android and iOS. And here you can see I am using coin for dependency injection. Now all the codes are here in this common main module. That means I am sharing most of the code for both Android and iOS. So you can check these codes. We have auth, then we have Firebase and this is the main application entry point. So here I'm using coin application and this is my actual application. Oops. So this is the tail tree app. If you open this, then here I have the material theme, then I have a surface and inside that I have this nav host where we have splash screen, auth view and the main view. And the login here I'm using with Firebase email and password authentication. And it is working fine for both the platforms. There are libraries for Firebase that you can directly use in a multi-platform project. But in my case, I have written specific implementation for both Android and iOS. So if you go to Firebase auth, then here you can see I have written this Firebase auth client and I have created an expect class. Now this class has an actual implementation for both iOS main and Android main. But there are libraries that you can use and you do not need to write uh, platform specific implementations for Firebase. But this was just learning and exploring. So I used expect here. Now the same way I'm working on DB, it is not complete now. So you can explore the project. Now for the platform specific implementation, you go to these modules. For example, this is iOS main where you write iOS specific implementation and this is compose app main where we write Android specific implementation. For example, I will open iOS main and here you can see I have written the auth state, sign in and sign out also. And we can also get the current user if needed. Now, if you go here, you can see we have Compose app and we have iOS app. So I will start with Compose app. Let's run it. So this is my Compose app. Now the same way I can select iOS app and I can select an iOS emulator. Now to do this, you have to use a Mac and you have to install Xcode and install a simulator. I have already installed these things so I can just run the iOS application. So let's run it. So you can see this is the iOS application and this one is the Android application. And the UI is completely built with Compose multi-platform. So in terms of UI, I am sharing all the codes here. So let's log out and it is the Compose nav host working absolutely fine in iOS. So I can log out, I can even log in, it is working fine. Even in Android, it is working absolutely fine. Let me log out and then log in. So single code base and application for both platforms. Cool, right? So you can check this project. I have given the link in the description of this video. In case you have any question or confusion, you can leave your comments below. So thanks for watching. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.